Hi guys, my name is Kier, but here on this channel I go by Hobo Kiki, and today we're planning in our Happy Planner Journal. Yes, I remember to say R this time because I'm making it, but I will be giving it to one of you guys. I am using the Live Love Posh Spring Allure, this set right here. I just think it just calls to be used in April because of the slight rain theme but still having the flowers so we're going to use this set here so we're planning for april of 2025 and i want to show you guys that i'm also bringing in some washi this is washi from um who is this from simply gilded mostly and there's some amazon washi and then we have the washi tape washi. I don't bring in those flowers. I wish I remember to. And this is from the rose colored days. And then that purple one is also from Amazon. So I will try to remember to link everybody. I'm just going to get started by laying down uh, all of my washi. I am kind of going for, well, not kind of going for, I was trying to do <laughs> the, what is it called? Waterfall waterfall tabs or whatever they're called you know what i'm talking about it's trending right now but i can see why like it's it's such a great idea and it's so cute however i did not accomplish it well because i was trying to um basically make sure that i had enough space for the dates and because that was my main priority i didn't get as much of a waterfall spread look that i was hoping for but i did get a decent enough one you'll see how it came out like for my first waterfall tab i think it actually came out pretty decent especially because i had no clue what i was doing and of course you know it's my trademark time of two o'clock in the morning so not only do i not know what the heck i'm doing but i'm also rather sleepy so with those things in mind i give myself grace here because i think it still came out pretty i will say that i definitely learned what to do next time around it's best to kind of like just cut well lay down the washi first for the first page cut that page right then and there and then lay down the washi for the next page uh, based off of where you cut at least that is what i realized towards the end made more sense so now i know and i will follow suit i am just making uh the calendar for april here and that was pretty easy you know i basically followed the same layout that i did for last month's calendar making sure that i could fit every day of the month here uh, but this time it's on two pages and as you can see there's a little space on the right page for the other two dates. Now that that's out the way, we can just add some of our beautiful stickers. I knew I wanted this corner piece to go here, so it immediately went there, obviously. I had to kind of try to be smart with it because I did not want to cut too much of it off, but it did uh, wind up being placed exactly where I need it to be. And then I knew I wanted these uh, tulips to go at the bottom here where this other open space is as you can see I'm putting the flowers uh, where there are no more dates to kind of fill up uh, that space there and I decided that I was going to take these flowers and add them to the bottom of this page as well and then this butterfly here to fill up some more of that space as you can see and I think that worked out exactly how I needed it to. And of course, I have to do my flutter trail because it's just so cute. I am just going to cut out this side here, as you can see, done and done. And this is where I messed up. I I mean, yes, I could have done the back part here and then uh, use this side to measure where the next washi would go. But I didn't do that. I kind of was just winging it not very smart <laughs> but again it, it comes out pretty decently so i'm not too mad and i keep wanting to put uh these stickers 
like on top of each other, but then I always realize that they're not flipped, so it doesn't work as well as I want it to, but you'll see that it still works in the end. It's just not exactly what I thought it would be, but wait, just watch me cut this out. Don't worry. You know, keep your fingers crossed. You know, hold your breath here. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I promise you. See, it still looks fine. It looks decent. She still came out pretty, so I'm not mad at all. Now we are adding the Simply Gilded Washi here. And I'm adding it just where I think it should go instead of actually using the other side of the page, the left side of the page, to measure where it actually needs to go. And, you know, that's where I messed up, but it's okay. Like I said, you'll, you'll see in the end. You'll see in the end. It, it still does what she needs to do. See? And I'm even realizing right there, I'm like, I, I tried to look at it, but for some reason my goofy self was just like, oh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> it's like, girl, you even, you did what you were supposed to do. You flipped the page to see if it would work, and obviously it did not, and you still went through with it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about myself sometimes. I'm just... I'm not always all there, okay? But it's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, so um yeah, that blue washi with the florals is from Simply Gilded and then this washi that I'm struggling with is obviously from Amazon because it's um pretty much the same age as the other washi, but it was so hard to get it unraveled like it just wanted to stay stuck together forever to itself. So I will let you know that is one of the cons. If you hoard washi for too long, it kind of does its own thing. And uh, this washi is also from Simply Gilded as well. I had a little piece of hair on it, so I got that off. But now I'm just finishing up here by adding uh, pretty much the rest of my washi. I think I have one more to add on the end here. Or do I? No, I think that was the last one. Yep, it's the last one, so I'm cutting. So there, it's all done. I'm using this old Erin Codron sticker book that I have. You know, I just kept hoarding because I said, I might need this one day. And lo and behold, it came true. <laughs> so I'm using this April sticker to bring out uh, the purples in this uh, sticker set, as well as mark the month, because as you can see, I did not put it on the calendar page. I always knew I wanted to do this in the end, which is why I wanted to do the waterfall tabs to begin with. Um, because, yeah, I wanted to be able to see April on every single page. And so now you can see on every single page that it is the month of April. And I thought that was such a great idea. And then I wanted to add just these butterflies just to stick out somewhere. I thought that would be cute. I will say, if you are going to put old stickers on top of old washi, then make sure you use some glue. Uh, I do not show this, but at the end of all of this, I do wind up gluing down a lot. Well, not a lot. A few of the stickers, like the older stickers, especially the stickers that are on top of the washi, because those two do not mix well. They do not really play together nicely. They do not want to lay on top of each other. So I make sure I force them to. <laughs> I force them to lay on top of each other with glue. And uh, it works. So there you have it. I do choose to put down a bunch of floral stickers on the side of the calendar here. Just so when you open up the page, you kind of see less of the, what we'll say is washi. Excuse me, no you'll see less of the calendar and more of the flower, so it's more of a decorative element. However, I don't think I took up too much space. Yes, you'll have to write a little bit on the smaller side for those boxes, but I still think there's enough space to write. I mean, at least I know for myself it would be, but then again, I know there's other people who have heavy handwriting. So if that's you and you like to write on the bigger side, which I completely understand, may I just suggest putting a box on top of those um, florals and then you can write in the box and then you'll have more space. So if this does become your book, 
then, you know, that's a little tip in case you need to write something there. But as you can see, the uh, waterfall, it kind of worked a little bit better on the inside, like once you actually flip the cover page. So I'm not too mad at it, as you can see. The right side is kind of doing its thing. I was thinking about adding this umbrella here, but that wasn't really doing what I needed to do. And then I thought I could put this bouquet here. And that did exactly uh, what I wanted to do. Again, I'm trying to cover up the calendar side of uh, this little peekaboo waterfall, waterfall, <laughs> waterfall area so that you see more decorative elements and then i was getting ready to cut this but then i realized i was going to cut into this bouquet which i really didn't want to do so what i wind up doing off camera here is just putting a little bit of clear tape on the uh, back area here so where you see that there was a little bit of white from the sticker in the front i put clear tape on the white side so that you so i don't have to cut it uh, however, there won't be any adhesive sticking to the pages. And now I'm just using these uh, foil dot date dots from My Newest Addiction from the recent uh, sticker kit that I just used, as well as these tailor-made date covers to mark my calendar, as you can see. And I'm bringing in these Lexi Kylie Design uh, Holidays. That I have saved and I am putting on putting them on the right days if you do not celebrate these holidays I do apologize just go ahead and tear them up or you could put a box on top of them or you could put a sticker on top of them there would be options if those holidays aren't for you but I knew I wanted to include them because I wasn't going to hold on to them either and, you know, I bought the stickers, so I want to use the stickers. So they were used. And now I'm just adding in the rest of these Erin Condren stickers. Uh, whoa, these are a throwback, aren't they? But I thought the raindrops would be so cute and would be still uh, a subtle nod to April showers. I then add this umbrella at the top here. I, you know, kind of battled with... Uh, the placement of everything but I think I got everything where I wanted them to go I know this is a, a cute little calendar page I really do like how it came out I'm not going to lie to you I was thinking about cutting out that window on the right you know where all the like glass panes are but no <laughs> Uh, that seemed like it was going to be a lot of work, and I can't remember the last time I sharpened or got a new blade for my craft knife, and that felt like that was going to be like a project in itself in which I would fail at. So we'll save that project for another day. But the thought was there. The thought was there. I just want you to know that. Okay, moving on, we are going to mark the first few days of the month of April for 2025 we are using this uh, light purple Tombow pen I really do like these pens honestly I have to stop myself because I feel like I want to get more even though I know I shouldn't but I really do like those pens so I am just going to mark uh, what day this month starts on and it actually starts on a Tuesday so I made sure I added that first. And then from there, I am going to add the rest of the days. And I am using another Tombow uh, supply. This is the Furunosuke. I really like the hard tip. Like, there's good reasons, pros and cons to uh, soft tips and hard tips, calligraphy pens. But I feel like uh, when it comes to, like, writing, my... My favorite would probably be the hard tip. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it depends on what look you're going for because they do serve different purposes. But anyways, I just added a note section there as well. We are going to add this little letter with the florals coming out of it on the note section just to bring in some decoration on this side of the page, on this side of the spread. And I thought that would be cute because, you know, you put notes in a letter, so... I thought that was cute, you know? 
I thought I was being clever. It's just me, isn't it? Yep, just me. Okay, moving on to the next few pages here. I knew I wanted to grab some stickers or I guess sticker boxes for this um, section. You know, just to add some color, some fun. And is it a whole lot of space to write? No, no, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. But sometimes, um, you know, decorative planning slash journaling is, it leans more so on the decorative side. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. Uh, maybe you just want to write like your top three goals for each day. Or maybe you just want to write something cool that happened each day. Or maybe you just want to write uh, something that you're grateful for each day in these boxes. You know, everything doesn't have to be, you know, just boring list of to do's. You know, we can we can make excuses to why <laughs> we can make excuses to why we chose uh, to be decorative over being functional. And that's OK. That's OK. I really like how this little section came out. So. I will stand 10 toes in my decision here. Speaking of toes, <laughs> I decided I was going to add these rain boots on this section. Since I had a lot of open space, I cut some of the white space off so I can add them all the way at the bottom. And I like how it looks. It's just so cute sitting there. I knew I wanted to put something in that open space though. So I thought it would be a cute little space to mark some notes. I'm just going to take the uh, notes header that was at the back of the book and some um, purple bullet points. I almost forgot what they were. <laughs> and that's it. Just took three of them right there. And I think it came out so cute. It's so simple. Then all the other like half stickers that I have on my hand, I thought that they could go here on the open spaces where I have a little bit more room to add some decoration just like that and it's so cute and so simple but so satisfying it was such a quick spread and as you can see i don't know but i just like to point out that you can still see april on the side there and i just love that i will probably do something similar like that again when i actually know what the heck i'm doing but i really do like how that looks it's so cute this spread is a little bit different. It's a horizontal spread, but it goes across each page. So I did make it a little skinny. Yes, it is a little skinny, but it, like I said, it's going to be one day on two pages. So it's going to go across the whole page. And I don't know, I just wanted to try something a little bit different. I wanted to make sure that I gave whoever is the new owner of this book, uh, just options on the different planning styles. You know, of course you get the vertical layouts, of course you got like some boxed layouts, but then there's also like horizontal layouts. I just wanted you to be able to try it all. So maybe you were new to planning slash journaling. This was your introduction. Uh, you could figure out what style works best for you. That was my thought process here, but I am just going to add a few pieces of decoration here. Let's start with this paintbrush. I love it so much. It has to go in the middle because it has to be the center focus. Obviously, look how cute it is. And then I wanted to add this cute green butterfly. So I put that on the top of the page just because on the bottom there's that purple butterfly so i didn't feel it needed to be too close to that one we have the macaroons and the tea on the bottom left and i'm cutting some florals again just so i can uh, save my stickers a little bit you know i don't have to throw away these cut halves they can be added elsewhere onto the spread and it is a simple spread but it gets the job done and again satisfying to look at now we are just going to make sure we have enough room for uh, this week's days and i just knew i had to bring in uh, this sticker of the backpack it's so cute it is uh, on the chunkier side though we'll say so I knew I couldn't just throw it anywhere. 
So it only made sense to add it in this additional space that I had after marking out uh, four sections for you to plan in for each day of the week here. I am going to tear this page out because I only have a few stickers left. And whenever I see that there are a few stickers left, I always tear the page out and decide that I'm going to make sure I use up the rest of that page uh, just because I like to make sure I get through sticker books. So I kind of like force myself to add a little bit more stickers so I can use up the rest of what's there. You know what I'm saying? Now you are going to see me add in this makeup uh, sticker right here, but I actually hate that right there. And you'll see why after I add these florals here, they are pretty, they have to be in the corner. But the reason why I knew for sure I wanted them in the corner was because when all the tabs are closed, you can see them. And then you can see how that uh, makeup sticker is peeking out at the top. I don't like that because, I don't know, I just feel like it's cutting off the image and you can't really see it visibly. But if you have partial flowers, you'll be able to see and know that it's flowers. Whereas the makeup bag, you're like, what the heck is that peeking from behind the window? You know what I'm saying? Whereas this, you're like, okay, those are flowers peeking from behind the window. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my little head. So that's why that makeup uh, sticker had to go. However, I will let you know that it comes right back on in. It just did not make sense right there, but it does come back into the spread i'm letting you know that now it comes back right now see i told you there was no need to miss it <laughs> it's you know making its grand return and that's perfectly fine i am deciding to add the rain boots again uh, they're just so cute i can't help it and i wanted to make sure i got in this uh what is that an umbrella <laughs> I wanted to get that umbrella in uh, that was made out of florals. I did decide to bring in that paintbrush again. And after I marked my boxes, I added this girl. I just felt like there wasn't enough purple. Like it felt too heavy on the orange, pink, and cream color there. So I wanted to get more purple in. And I thought she kind of matched the vibe. So I am going to add her. And I think that essentially ends everything that I wanted to do. Now it's just time to make sure I date all the boxes. I am going to bring in these dates from Rose Color Days. They make it very simple, very easy. All I have to do is uh, just find which day I want and I lay it where I need it to go. I don't know. Oh, yes. Okay, I see what I was doing here. But this was relatively easy. I'm so glad I picked these up. I, I don't even know if it's still in stock. I'm not even going to lie to you. I picked these up so long ago. But now that I have found them again, I'm pretty sure they're going to be used for like the rest of this um, bullet journal. Just because it's going to make it so easy to mark down the days of the week. And I am using this stick with Kate sticker uh, just to add the date dots here. And I am just going to add the dates really quick and I'll be right back. I am using more stick with Kate uh, stickers to just add the days of the week. I really like these. They are very thin and yet, you know, they have like a pretty bold impact. I, I really do just like these. And they work well in the Hobonichi Cousin, too, in case you were wondering. But for this very slim section, it just made more sense to use these stickers. So I am adding the date dots to these now. And I'll go ahead and finish dating everything. And that is it. That is everything dated. That is how the whole month of April for the year 2025 is looking I really like how this came out, especially the spread, but I think it's cute. I'm really happy that you can see April from all angles. If you like this video, feel free to like this video. If you dislike the video, feel free to leave a dislike. We keep it real over here, bro. Stay safe and stay creative. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.